Hi, North Lake family. Pastor Jeff here. It's Monday, March 16. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Even though it's a very different day here at the church, for sure. Because of the COVID-19 or coronavirus, today the preschool, our Christian, our Little Blessings preschool is closed along with all other schools in Florida at least through March 30th. Tomorrow, our church office closes, along with all other activities and groups at North Lake being canceled until further notice. Our Operation Homebound and the Christian Food Pantry will continue to function as long as possible with the necessary precautions and modifications. Even the directors want to do that. They are a vital uh, component serving persons of great need in our community. Perhaps if you are healthy, strong, and willing to volunteer, you can step forward now to take the place of someone who needs to step back because of the risk of infection. At the very least, please keep these missions in your prayers. Our leadership team has made the tough decision. Last week, they decided to discontinue or suspend worship on campus of North Lake for the next three Sundays, through and including Palm Sunday. We had hoped to be together again for a joyous Easter celebration. Right now, that looks very questionable, given the fact that the Center for Disease Control, just this morning I read, has recommended no groups of more than 50 meeting for up to eight weeks. Now, we're going to make this step voluntarily. We do this with the clear understanding other places it's been mandated. Other places in the country, they've already been told not to meet. But we think this is an important step to take for the health of our North Lake family, as well as a part of our witness to the community, showing others that we will make the necessary sacrifices so we're not contributing to the problem, to the spread of the infection. In the meantime, we're going to continue to provide our worship, the messages, prayers, even some music by video on a weekly basis. And we'll continue to communicate as best we can by email and with other sources of updates. If you're not already signed up for our congregational email, please do that. That'll be really important now. And you can do that on our website in a simple form that's at the bottom of the home page. We'll be using the website for uh, updates regularly, as well as the North, Lo North Lake Facebook page, as well as my scarcely used Twitter account. You probably know I'm not a big fan of communicating by tweets. But during this extraordinary season, I invite you to follow at J. Arthur Hosmer for brief updates and words of encouragement. In the message that we had yesterday in worship, we considered David and his faithful courage facing the giant adversary of his time. He faced forward and he stepped forward with the strong conviction that the battle belongs to the Lord. And I also cited five smooth stones that I would choose to pick up, like David. Five smooth stones that I would pick up and carry for what we're facing in our time. And I pray for these for all of you in our North Lake community. First, refuge in the Lord, knowing that our ultimate refuge, our true refuge is in God. Second, a sense of spiritual connection while we're going through a period of physical isolation or separation. Third, a season of cleansing. This will be a, a Lenten season like no other before, a time for deep reflection and even drawing closer to God. Fourth, tidings of comfort and joy, a true sense of the good news of Jesus in this world with us and a love that cannot be denied or stopped. And we need that good news when the world seems so much right now to be somber and even surreal. And fifth and finally, an open channel of prayer with God. That's probably the most important stone that we all pick up and carry with us for whatever we face. I pray for these for you. 
in the times ahead. And you can check out more of the details in the message that's online. Let's do everything that we can to stay connected, even during this season. Please do your part with telephone calls, with emails, and other ways of contacting people around you, making sure that care is extended as best we can do it. And we'll need your ongoing support at the church as well. We'll still have to pay the electric bill, support the missions, pay the staff, some of whom will be working harder than ever under trying conditions. And so what you can do, please do financially, by mail or with giving online at our church website. Let's live by faith and not by fear. I encourage you, with all the time that we have, the free time that we'll have, please pray extensively, especially for those who need it right now, those who are affected the most, the sick and the grieving, those who are quarantined and lonely. Pray for medical staff and caregivers, for researchers and companies struggling right now to combat this virus, and for our leaders making key decisions. Beloved, may the Lord bless you and keep you. In the name of Jesus, amen.